Hello students, this is Manjunath Pujar working as assistant professor in computer science department. Today I am here to discuss about another interesting DBMS lab assignment that is library management system. In my previous videos, I had discussed various DBMS lab assignments. Among them, this is also one of the important and interesting database management system assignment. Here, as the title itself says, this database maintains the information about the library. When it comes to the library, here they had given six different tables and every table maintains the information about the library. So here we are having the book as the name itself says, it maintains the information about the book details like a book ID, title followed by the publisher details like publisher name and publication year. Then we are having the book authors table which maintains the information about the author details, publisher which maintains the information about publisher details, book copies, the number of copies related to that particular textbook, followed by book planning, this maintains the information about to whom we had given or uh, who are the borrowers of that particular textbooks, followed by we are having the library branch as the name itself says it maintains the information about various branches of the library. So to get a better idea about this particular scenario, we need to understand the ER diagram for this particular case. As I had told you in my previous videos, ER diagram is one of the important concept in database management system. It is just like a flow charts which we draw before we write any programs. In the same way, before we create any tables, we are going to draw an ER diagram. To get an understanding of any kind of the scenario, what kind of the data we use to maintain, we need an entity relationship diagram. So again, to understand this particular library management system very clearly, we need to go through the entity relationship diagram. Then only we get to know what kind of the information they use to maintain in this particular tables. So now let me show you the ER diagram for this particular case. So for the better understanding of this particular scenario, so I had drawn that ER diagram. This is the handwriting, handwritten ER diagram. Here you can observe, here you can observe the book, publisher, library, manage, library branch, card followed by book copies. So when we look at this particular ER diagram, the three important concepts are there. In any diagram, we are expected to observe three important concepts. One is entity, then attributes, followed by relationship. When it comes to the entity, entity, it is nothing but a real world object with the conceptual or physical existence. Attributes are nothing but the properties associated with the entity. Relationship, it is nothing but an association between two or more entities to give the new information. By having the basic idea about these three terms, then we will have a look at this particular case study. So here we are having totally six tables are there in our assignment. According to that, we had drawn the CR diagram. Here you can see book, publisher, library branch, followed by the card. These are the four different entities we have identified for that particular case study. So when it comes to the book, book is an entity. Why? Because it is a real world object which is having a physical existence. And the book is uh, having the properties like book ID, book title, publication year, followed by author name. Here you can keenly observe author name. Here the type of attribute is multi-valued. So while discussing the concepts of entity relationship diagram, we are having the various type of the attributes. Attributes are nothing but these are the properties that elaborates entities. In the types of attributes, we are having single valued versus multi valued, simple versus composite, stored versus derived. For every type of attribute, we are having the different type of notations. If the attribute is a multi valued, then it is represented with a double oval shape. Now, here you can observe author name is double oval shape. Why author name is having the double oval shape? Because one textbook is having many authors. In our day-to-day -day scenario, we used to see normally most of the textbooks written by more than one author. In that case, this is going to become a multi-valued attribute. 
that's why it is represented with a double oval shape and book id is the key attribute which is represented with the underline and followed by these two are a simple attribute simple single valued attributes again when it comes to the publisher we are having the publisher name address phone here the publisher name is the unique identification so no two publishers will have the same name because of that publisher name is the key attribute then we are having the library branch so in that we are having the different branches for the particular library that means which are situated at the different locations branch id branch name followed by the address of that particular library branch then we are having the card we had made card as a separate entity because card is nothing but which represents the information about the borrowers who can borrow the textbooks from the libraries that's why we have shown the card as a separate entity with card number so now this is the these are the list of entities with the attributes now we need to see the relationship among these kind of the entities so now here you can see book and publisher these two entities will have the relationship like published by now you can see uh, one publisher he can publishes many textbook one publisher he can publish many textbooks from when we try to read out this relationship from publisher to book that time we can say one publisher he can publish many textbooks Tata McGraw Hill he is the publisher and that publisher company it can publish more than one textbooks but when it comes to the textbook one textbook is published by only one publisher we cannot have the two publishers for the same textbook that means suppose if dbms subject textbook is there that means it is published by only one publisher like tata magra hall it may be tata magra hill or it may be the pearson like that so we cannot have we cannot have one textbook that is published by more than one publisher that's why so the cardinality ratio over here is one publisher he can publish many textbooks from the book one book is published by only one publisher because of that the cardinal ratio is 1 is to n again when it comes to the book and book copies here you can see one book is having many copies one book has many copies that's why 1 is to n cardinal ratio from this side here again when it comes to the library branch one branch is having many book copies that is obviously true okay so here this is the case of book copies book and library management library branch these are the cardinal ratio and again when it comes to the book library branch and card among these three entities we are having the book lending as a relationship book lending means this one textbook from one particular branch it is issued to the one card holder you need to understand in this particular way one book from one particular branch issued to the one card holder that is one borrower because of that book lending this is the book lending is the relationship which maintains the information from book as well as the library branch as is well the card the meaning over here is a book can be issued from the branches to the many card holders or you can say many books from the many branches can be issued to the many card holders because of that m n n that means many to many cardinality ratio is there among this all and because of this er diagram our table has been mapped okay according to this only we need to understand the primary key and foreign keys here one more thing i would like to highlight over here is when the attribute is the multi valued here you can say author name is the multi valued we cannot show multi valued attribute directly in our tables if you want to maintain the multi valued attribute information that time we need a separate table for multi valued attribute this point i request all the students to remember when we have the multi valued attribute that time obviously we are going to have a separate table okay so to maintain that particular information that i am going to show you how they had given in our table structures so now with this particular information here you can see when 1 is to n cardinal ratio is there when where the n of where the n comes here you can see n is here at the book side because of that we can observe the publisher name information in this case here also the book and copies 1 is to n again at the n we are going to have the foreign key again from the library branch to book copies 1 is to m again we are going to have the foreign key in the book copies like this and when we are having the turner relationship turner in the sense 
the relationship is associated with two or more entities here you can see so book and library branch and card when this book lending is associated with more than one entities because of that book lending is going to be a separate table in the table structures with this basic information now we will have look at the tables content so here you can see book book it maintains information about the book id book title publisher name publication year and again here the publisher publisher in that publisher name address and phone number now you can see we have shown the relationship between book and publisher the meaning of that is here the publisher name is there one publisher he can publish many textbooks so that means publisher name here it is the foreign key publisher name here it is the primary key that means this information is going to be as a foreign key in the book to give the information about this publisher has published many textbooks again now book author as a separate table just now i told you when we are having the multi valued attribute in the er diagram we cannot show that multi valued attribute directly in the table structure we need to represent as a separate table here i am showing book authors as the separate table because authors information is multi valued so book id here it is the foreign key and author name is the attribute which is the multi valued so one book it can have more than one author one author as the foreign key allows duplicate values say for example book id 1 if i take if i take book id 1 here the book id is 1 author name is azim that is al masri again book id 1 that's the second entry so the author is going to be and the name that's the james so one and one it's the same textbook with the two author one is the al masri and the other one is the james that means this same textbook is now having the two authors this is what the meaning of that particular case multi valued again we are having the book copies in that we are having the book id and branch id these two as the foreign keys and number of copies just now i, uh, I have already shown there is a relationship between the book copies and book there is a relationship between the book copies and library branch and the book lending as this book lending is having the association between book id branch id card number three entities associated with the book lending and according to that i have shown what is the meaning of that that means many books can be issued from the many branches to the many card holders that's what the meaning of that date out due date so that means when we had issued and when they are going to return it back these two information going to maintain with this basic idea so now we get to know what kind of the data they used to maintain in this particular tables our next job is to create the tables insert the records then look into the questions or the queries that what they had asked related to this particular database here now we can see here this is the information retrieve the details of all books in the library like book id book title name of the publisher author details number of copies in each branch these all details they want to display this is the first question second question is get the particulars of the borrowers who have borrowed more than 3 books and that is from jan 2017 to june 2017 so this is the important thing that we are expect to enter the data while entering the data into the table again la third operation is deleting the information from the book table then uh, we are supposed to create the view of virtual table of the all books and stumber copies that are currently available in the library so for this all four questions our first job is to create the tables by properly specifying primary key and foreign keys so now we will start with the practical demonstration of this now coming back to this okay so the first table first we are supposed to create the tables which are base tables so even though in our order first table is the book table second table is the book authors third table is the publisher but we start creating the publisher table first because the publisher name information we are referring in the book table that's why publisher table has to be created first then we are supposed to go with the other tables while creating the tables this thing we are expected to remember so now let me show you the demonstration of this particular creation of the tables now let me open the mysql for this particular case so mysql With the help of a WAMP server. So now, once it is installed properly, just open that MySQL command prompt. 
here the assignment queries are very simple but understanding of that assignment is a little bit tricky so now open that mysql database as the number of tables are more and ideas or in this particular assignment is more it is little bit tricky it's very difficult for the students to understand okay so now coming back to this as this is a database related to the library so i'm supposed to create first database by the name library as i'm giving it a name as the library so once the database has been created our next job is to use this uh, database by the name library for creation of the tables so now let me start creation of the tables as i told you first we are supposed to create the base tables so here the first first base table is the publisher in the publisher we are having the publisher name as the primary key phone and address these are the details then let me copy and paste to save the time so now first table has been created successfully then next we will go with the second table second table is the book as i told you even though in our list book is the first table but still it as it is referring the publisher name information that's why we are creating it the next so in this publisher name is going to be a foreign key so let me create copy and paste second table so here the second table has been created with the book book id is the primary key title publication year publication publisher name and this publisher name is referring the publisher table so that's why it is the foreign key in this particular table and we are specifying for every foreign key on delete cascade or on delete sentinel so now here we are specifying on delete cascade next we will go with the third table that is book authors as book authors is the multi valued attribute that's why we are creating a separate table for book authors just now i had explained the concept related to the multi valued attribute because of multi valued attribute there is a separate table for book authors in this we are having author name and book id and uh, book id is the foreign key as we are referring it from the book table and we can make these two attributes as the primary key when we combine two or more attributes to make it as the primary key that time the primary key we are going to call it as the composite key composite key is the one which is nothing but the primary key which includes two or more attributes to uniquely identify the records in the tables so now here the primary key is the combination of author name as well as the book id next again i will go ahead with the next table so next table is the library branch again this is also a base table which we are referring in the many cases library branch in the library branch and in the library branch branch id is the primary key branch name and address these two are the common attributes then again we will go with the another table book copies in the book copies book copies table we are having the number of copies book id branch id here the book id and branch id these two are the foreign keys which are referring the book table as well as the library branch here also we had created we had combined the two columns book id and branch id to make it as the primary key which is nothing but the composite key of this particular table so that can uniquely identify the records in the table so next we will go ahead with the next table that is the card in the card table this card table actually maintains information about the borrower details so that's why i'm creating a separate table for this card you just understand card here it is nothing but borrower details okay so next last table in this assignment is about book lending information this book lending table which actually maintains the information about how many books from which branches issued to the which card holders or which borrowers that's what that information we are able to get it in the book lending date out due date followed by book id branch id card number here you can see these all three are foreign keys which actually maintains the information about which book from which branch has issued to which particular card holder that's what the meaning of this and this all together we are going to make it as the primary key 
to uniquely identify the records in the table. So now this is all about the creation of the tables. Next we will move ahead with entering the data or the records in the table according to our requirements. Here I am going to enter all the records at one stretch so that we can save the time. So once we enter all the records at one stretch, so here I will show you entering of all the records, entering of all the records into the table. Okay, so now I have entered all the records in the table successfully. So our next job is to see, look into the tables, what kind of the data we had entered. So select a star from first table is the authors. First table is the author. Sorry, first table we will go with one by one. First table is book first table is the book okay in the book table we get the information about uh, book id title of the book publication year then publisher name then we will go with the uh, book authors so we'll go with the book authors in book authors we get to know the author details see here one two three four five as it is multi-valued here i have uh, one for, for the first textbook we are having the authors nawate for the text second textbook again we are having the nawate these are the various authors for the various textbooks so this table has been created just to represent the information about to one textbooks may have more than one author okay so this is what the meaning of this here you can see uh edward and we can make it so one more entry into this particular table so that you can get an idea of insert into book authors insert into book authors insert into book authors values here yeah, the meaning over here is what i'm trying to enter in this particular case is i want to show one textbook is having more than one author so here is the nawada is there so i'm going to make one more entry in el masri Al Masri, so as uh, so all are in caps, Al Masri. Okay, so the for the same textbook, so first textbook, same first textbook is having the two authors. So now here you can see I had made an entry. Okay, so one one that means single textbook is having the two authors, Al Masri and Nawate. That's what the meaning of this one textbook can have more than one author. Because of that, this is possible only when we create a separate table it is not possible with the same table okay this is what the reason they are having a separate table for maintaining the information about book authors now again next book after book authors we will see which are the other tables then we will go with the publisher table information publisher publisher okay so in the publisher we are having the details like publishers so these all publisher names so we can observe in the book table so these are the publisher names okay so as it is the foreign key in this table we are having these all details in the book table next we will move ahead with uh, remaining tables like uh, book copies book copies book copies In the book copies, we are having the information like number of copies of the particular textbook. Book textbook one is having the number of copies of ten. Again, the same textbook is having the number of copies as five. And from the branches, from the which which branches these all books are belonging to. So now we can see library branch, library branches. Here you can see branch ID ten. That is situated name of the branch is R Nagar which is there in the Bangalore like that RNSIT or Rajajinagar Nitte Manipal these are the addresses of the various branches of the particular library here you can see branch ID 10 that means R Nagar branch and this is the textbook book that is a DBMS number of copies are 10 that's what the meaning of this so next we will move ahead again with the card card is nothing but uh, the borrower details here we are not having any name details over here just the card number which says the five different borrowers are there or you can call it as a students 
or you can call the people who are interested to read the textbooks from the libraries. So card numbers are one or two or not for those totally five card holders are there who can borrow the textbooks from the different branches. And the last table is about book lending information. So the last table is book lending, book lending. Okay, so in the book lending, we can observe the textbook one from the branch RR, which has been issued to the cardholder 101 on the date that the date out is this 1st January 2017. And its due date is 1st June 2017. That means, so for the cardholder 101 from the branch 10, the book has been issued. That's the first textbook. This DBMS book has been issued on 1st Jan 2016 and uh, 2017. And this book needs to be returned back on 1st June 2017. This is what the meaning of this particular record in this table. So when we get to know the idea, what kind of the data and how many tables and all, our next job is to proceed with the questions what they had asked. So now we will move ahead with uh, queries according to our requirement. Without wasting much time, let us see. What question they had asked, they want to display retrieve details of all textbooks in the library. Retrieve the details of all textbooks in the library. What kind of the information they want to display? They want to display book ID, book title, name of the publisher, author of that particular textbook, and the number of copies of that textbooks available in each branch. So this is all information they wanted to display. Okay. So now in order to display this all information, first what we are expected to understand that whether these all details are there in the single table, obviously not. Because here you can see the query, I'm just showing this query over here. Here we need the information from book table. In the book table, what kind of the information is available? I, we have already seen. In the books table, we are having book ID, book title, publisher name. That means we can get the details like book ID, title and publisher name in the single table. But author details is there in this particular table. There's the book authors. Okay, and publishers, some more details like address and contact number is there in the publisher tables. Along with that, from which branch that book has been issued, we are having the information from the book lending. So by combining these all tables only, we are able to get the information about according to a requirement. Now you can see here you are having the book B. We are referring the book B table. We are referring the book authors table. We are referring the book copies information. We are referring the library branch. By referring this all tables only, we get to do or we are able to display the ID, title, name of the publisher, authors and number of copies. So now here you can see book is the table, alternative name for this book table we are given as a B, book authors as the A and book copies as the C and library branch as the L. Okay, so by looking at this, so now we can see after select keyword, after select keyword, we are able to we are able to specify what kind of the information we, we are supposed to display for this query. So here you can see we want the book ID, book ID details. Book ID details is present in the book table. That's why b.bookid. And we are supposed to display book title. Again, that information is also there in the book table. And we are displaying the publisher name details. That is also there in the book table. But author details is not there in the book table. That's why I'm going for A here, A.author name. This information is there in the authors table. So now number of copies information is there in this uh, C, that is the C is the book copy C. There's a number of copies there in this table and branch details are there in the branch ID, L dot branch ID. And this all information is there in the different tables. That's why from after the from we are specifying from which tables we are referring this. Okay, so when we want to display the data from the more than two tables, I have already told you in many my previous uh, videos, we need to see the common fields in those tables. Here you can see from the book and authors table, we are having the common field as the book ID. So because of that, we are taking the first condition 
b dot book id equal to a dot book id because if, when we try to combine two or more tables we need a common field in those tables so in the book and author we are having the common field as the book id and that common field should be primary key in one table foreign key in other tables so now we have combined two tables book and authors next we are combining book and copies so here the book and book number of copies book copies so these two tables are having the common field again has the book id that's why we are taking second condition like this now the last again library and copies so in these two tables again having the common field as the branch id and uh, so in one table it is the primary key and the table it is the foreign key so now here book author number of copies there's the book copies and library branch so now these all tables will have the common fields according to the common fields we had taken the condition so when we are having the common fields only we are able to get the correct information so now we can see the result of this particular query what output we are able to get let me show you according to the requirement so they just wanted to display the data from the various tables so now you can see here the book id title publisher name followed by author number of copies of that particular book as well as the branch id so this is what the data they wanted to display for that question so now we had displayed properly book id title publisher name author name number of copies and branch id so now again we move ahead with the next query next query is interesting get the particulars of borrowers who have borrowed more than three books but from jan 2017 to june june 2017 according to this requirement only we are expected to enter the data from the tables so now here so we are able to get the information about the book lending in the book lending we are able to get that information so first i want to display book lending okay in the book lending we get the information about first june question is what the first question is what uh, so the from jan 2017 to june 2017 so here this is the case we what we are expected to display we are supposed to display borrower details that means who is the borrower borrowed the textbooks that should number of textbooks borrowed should be more than three and again one more condition is jan 2017 to june 2017 so now again when we look at the tables here you can see in this book lending table you can see card number 101 card number 101 card number 101 card number 101 the meaning of this is card number 101 he has borrowed he has borrowed the more than three textbooks from the different branches here you can see 101 101 101 101 the meaning of this is this is the borrower he borrowed three textbooks which are the textbooks one two three four so from which particular day so see here you can see why i had entered most of the details in the year 2017 itself is here the question is like that because of that only i have shown here there's a first january 2017 this book has has been issued and 21st february 2017 second book has been issued 11th Ju 11th january 2000 third book has been issued 15th march and fourth book has been issued because our requirement is like that so according to our requirement we are supposed to display the information so now again we will have a look at the query so now i will show it one by one if i execute part by part query i will show you the part by part query so that you can get a better idea so when you execute the part by part query so first query if i show you the first query if i show you here you can see the card details that are present in this particular book lending. that means to whom the book has been issued when we look at this particular data we are having only two authors that's sorry we are having only two borrowers 101 and 104 because books has been issued only for these two card holders not for the remaining so this is the simple information but our question is not for this our question is okay so the question is which borrowers 
taken the textbooks between 1st January 2017 to June 2017. So now again, when I again execute this query, another part of the query, that is the 1st Jan 2017 to June 2017. Again, in this case, again, we are getting the same output because here also see 104, this borrower also got the textbook between 1st Jan 2017 to 1st July 2017 in between that particular range. So because of that even we are getting the information for this. That means this part of the query also is not giving the clear results because the question again extended. What the question is get the particulars of the borrowers so who have borrowed more than three books. Up to this we had executed. Okay. So now our job is to group the records. Then we need to count which author has taken or borrowed more than three textbooks. When we look at this query, when we look at the output of this query, here you can see when we group the records, when we group the records, we are able to see two groups are going to be formed. In the first group, 101, 101 is having in the first group. According to that group, the count is four. And second group is 104. According to this, the count is only one. So now we are supposed to group the records. Now I will show you the grouping of records. So once we group the records, again here you can see the two groups are going to be formed. The two groups are going to be formed. So you can see the result. Two groups are going to be formed. That is first group is 101, second group is 104. But this is not again our required output because which group is having the count more than three. So we are expected output get as 101. That is the group which is having the count as more than 3. So now again, I will add one more condition for this. That is having count of star greater than 3. And again, when I execute this query, when I execute this query, so now you can see the output of that. What expected output we are supposed to get? That is 101 only. So now see, you can, this is the 101. This is what the required output for the query. So query according to that question, according to that, get the particulars of the borrowers who have borrowed more than three books. And those three books should be borrowed from Jan 2017 to June 2017. According to that, we got the output. So now next query. So that is delete a book in a book table. Update the contents of the other tables to reflect this data manipulation operation data manipulation operation okay so before deleting the records uh, i will show this last part of the query create a view of all books and its number of copies that are that are currently available in the library again this is also a very simple query we are supposed to display some information like we want to display book id this one we had already done in the previous query itself book title number of copies so we want to display only these three information that is what they had said, view all books and its number of copies. So book ID, book title and the number of copies of that particular textbooks. So as we want only these three information, these three informations are available in the three tables like book table, book copies table and library branch. And that's why we are having the two conditions over here. V dot book ID equal to C dot book ID, C dot branch ID equal to L dot branch ID. So here this is the query. Yeah, this is the query. So I will show you again the output of this query so that you people can get idea. So when you execute this, this is the output what we are able to get. See, you can say book ID, book title and number of copies available for that textbooks. So one textbook DBMS is having number of copies as 10. Again, same textbook DBMS is having the number of copies 5. Like that, we had displayed the information. But actually, this is not the required output because what they had asked, they want us to create the view that is the virtual table for the output of this. So in my previous video, I had shown you how to create the virtual table. Create a view, create a view. View is nothing but virtual table. Virtual table main purpose is what? To show the complicated query. Here I'm giving the information about book, v underscore book underscore details the name of this particular virtual table is view v underscore book underscore details as what this particular view should contain it should contain the information just now i shown the executed query now 
we want to store the output of this query in the virtual table. Virtual tables are basically used to store the result of complicated query. This point you are supposed to remember clearly. Okay, so now and the part of the query. So now here, now virtual table has been created here. We can, we are not able to get any output. Okay, so now we are supposed to see the result of that particular query with the help of the select star from virtual table content. That is v underscore book underscore details okay so now you can see if i want to get output of this query every time instead of remembering this particular query every time i simply store that results into the virtual table by the name v underscore book underscore detail this is what the importance of virtual table virtual table view is nothing but virtual table which is used to store the result of the complicated query so now the last part of this particular assignment which i'm going to show you here is the deleting the records so what they had asked delete a textbook in a book table and update the contents of the other tables to reflect this data manipulation operation so as we are specifying on delete cascade in our table so we are simply deleting the records from the tables. So I'm just wanted to delete the book textbook that is book book table. In this book table, I want to delete the details of book ID three. So if I delete the book ID three, so respect to tables will delete the automatically all records. Here you can see from the book ID has been deleted, then followed by respect to tables like other book copies there also the records have been deleted like that every table respect to information has been deleted okay so you can see by looking into the all tables okay so with this uh, i tried to give you the idea about all the queries followed by followed by the importance of this particular database Okay, library management system. Again, if you find any difficulties in understanding the assignment, you can contact me at any time. With this, I conclude this particular session. And when you people are working, as I always to say, when you people are working, take the take the copy of this which you people have executed so that you people can refer it later stages. So for this just copy this and uh, paste it through paste in separate notepad files so that it's easy for you people to refer whenever you want to see the result okay so i can say library mysql execution mysql execution so this is the details about library management system mysql execution details okay so with this i can conclude the today's session thank you all